She's going to take one take. for the team. Yeah. That's when you know you have a real one. When she bears the weight for you. She Aww. tried to put her vest on top of my vest. But <laughs> <No>. <laughs> That's where I draw the line. <laughs> I was like, bitch, you're wearing two today. <laughs> okay, for realsies. So cardio, you know how we do this. We're working for 35 seconds. We're resting for 15 seconds. We're going to do one set of each exercise and cycle through three times. We're going to get right into it. Get your body warm. Let's get ready to work. And then, oh, 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 sorry. Sorry. And, and then, then we're going to do that finisher where we're here for 12 minutes and we're focusing on agility. So you all know how important agility is. We went through it in the 101, how it's, how it's done, 101. We really want to work on those lateral drills, those quick twitch movements, and it helps you in life, preventing injury, and just you're overall quicker on your feet. So let's go! Let's <laughs> The, bro the more broken your body, the better the warm-up oh, feels. Uh, oh. Five seconds. Okay, so what we're actually trying to do, and we can't seem to talk through it, is just loosen up all the vertebrae of the neck. Okay. T-stand. T-stand. T is for me. Tammy. T is for toes. T is for terrific. What else? T is for totes. T is for totes. T is for tater tots. Tater tots. Do you say tomato or tomato? Tomato, for sure. You say... Who says tomato? People in my family are pretty sure say really? tomato. But that's different. The English, the English say tomato. 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 Okay. Pivot. Lunge. Here we go. Stepping that right foot forward. Pivoting on that side where the legs front. So we say this every single time. We want to slow this one down. We're really trying to wake the body up. Wake the knee joints up, the ankles, the hips thoracic spine, so when you rotate, let your gaze go with your body. We're not just trying to get our arms across the body, because really, one more, it's not what we're working on. Yeah, feel that rotation for that one. All right, dynamic stretching. Ah. Stretching those hip flexors Ooh, in the front, keep it moving on the way back. Those Aww. hamstrings, we're staying on this side for 30 seconds, then we're gonna do the next side. I can't even decide which feels oh, better. Hip flexor or hammies. Oh, Tammy's hammies. <laughs> <laughs> Tammy's hammies. Ooh. There's anyone else in this industry who says I'm Tammy's wrong. hammies. I think everyone tries not to and we're like, oh my god. Oh. Yeah. Why? <laughs> if it feels good, just let it out. All right, moving so on. Next side. Side. I'm sorry. It feels so good. Why am I gonna bottle that up? Ooh, beauty. Okay, enjoy it. Another six seconds. Oh my goodness, I heard that. <laughs> All right, now we're gonna warm up a bit. Move a little bit faster. Touchdown. Blast off. Swing that pony. I whip my hair back and forth. I whip my hair back and forth. Eight, Eight seconds. seconds. One. Three, two, one. All right. Half raise to toe or knee touch. Okay. So coming up on those toes, hold for a second. Reach across. Wake up that entire back line of the body. I'm just gonna say it right now, we have a fun one planned for you today. I hope you have your energy all stored up for the work ahead. I'm a little nervous, honestly. <laughs> I did those. 
<laughs> those jumps a minute ago, the touchdowns. Okay, shoulder rolls. I could feel big, big, big. I'm not, I don't know if I'm prepared for a cardio day. My body needs it. I find that as well. Like sometimes it's reverse those circles. Sometimes after a strength day or after a weekend, we're nice and stiff, not nice and stiff, but quite stiff. And we talk ourselves out of a workout because we think we're so sore we couldn't possibly, when all you really need is to start moving. Get all those cracks and creaks out and then That's you're good. That's true. Okay, we're gonna start, we're gonna do a three. Overhead shuffle, two. Reach for that dumbbell and take it up overhead. We're gonna start nice and slow. Well, this isn't slow, but relative to what we have coming up for you. Ah, spoiler alert. So we want that dumbbell directly over the head, not behind you, not in front. In front is better than behind you, but overhead is ideal. And we're not popping through the rib cage at all. Shuffling your feet. Tap, 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 tap. tap fall forward. Almost there. And don't take breaks, extend the back. Stay nice and tall. Okay, let's the get rid of those time. dumbbells. We're gonna reach for one of your challenger bars. Set it down on the side. We're coming down for a push up either on your toes or fully extended. And we're walking our legs in and pivoting your outside leg across your body. Got that? Let's work. Down, pull your knees in and pivot. Down. Pull those knees in and pivot. If you want to up the ante, try to actually tap your bum down on that challenger bar while keeping your hands on either side, getting a little bit of oblique action as well. Woo! Oh, three, one, two, ah, and one. Finish it, finish it. All right, we'll leave nothing unfinished. Oh, let's leave it. Leave it. Flip it over. Last feet. Are we going to stay in our individuals? Yes, we are. Jess is going to show you that it can be done that way. I'm going to show you that it can be done this way. We're going with our fast feet, hopping over. Back where you can get your arms moving. Keep your eye on the rise. We don't want to trip up here. Yeah, guys, so watch. Obviously, stay on that low side of the bar. If you're feeling like you're getting fatigued, Go lower. No one can trip. You can also the whole day. You can also take it this way as well. Three, two, one. Okay. Next up, we have a plyo lunge into a wide squat into a narrow squat. Plyo lunge, wide, narrow, and then we switch sides. Okay. Don't let that back knee hit the ground. Start. Woo. That's it. Keep your chest up. Try not to think about it too much. I feel like when you think about it, that's when you drop the ball. Just feel it. Lunge, wide, narrow. Lunge, wide, narrow. Lunge, wide, narrow. How much time? <laughs> Ten seconds! We're almost there. My hair is stuck to my lips. Woo! I really love that. All right, okay. Okay. more squats. Hair to the lip loss sensation. It's crazy. Squat jacks. Woo! Okay. okay. So we're coming into a nice deep squat. Coming up. And then, ah! Okay. Oh yes. <laughs> Here we go. Down. Don't you love Jesse's meows? Push up, sprawl. The jab. Looks like this. Down for the push up. Up for the sprawl. Stay low. Stand up. Jab. Jab. Yeah. Well, remember options with the push up. Here we go. Okay. I want you to channel whatever's got you perplexed. 
to that. Whether it's that pile of laundry, that workload, that full inbox, or if it's a person, you know what you're picturing when you jab. Woo! Woo! Oh! My goodness! Okay, we're gonna take the tempo down. Guys, we have two more lapses. We got two more exercises. Yeah, I know. Two more exercises. Two more laps. Okay, we're gonna start with that four point hover. Walking out to your plank. Walking into your bear hold. Okay? So you'll notice when you walk your feet in, we wanna keep our back nice and flat. And out in our plank, we want a long line from the back of the head all the way to the heels. Let our tempo, heart rate come down rather. Okay, watch those palms directly on your shoulders. As you step back, engage that core. Five seconds. Three, two, and one. Nice. Woo! Last one. What do we got? Push-ups, stay low. I love these. On a demo. It's a lot of people. Sure, darling. Okay, we're gonna start in our yogi push-up where we're sending all the weight back over our heels. Push forward from here, right into your sprawl, and up into a squat jump. Yeah, you got it. Do it. Okay, let's go. Yogi push-up, propel forward, squat jump, back down. Find that neutral spine. Find you here. Lunge. One. Narrow. 
lunge, wide, narrow. Find a tempo that works for you. Lunge, wide, narrow. Yes. Oh. It's killing me. Almost there. Three, two, and one. Does anyone else's hair stick to their face as much as mine does? It is wild. Wild. More flickery. A flick. flickery comes more stickery. <laughs> yes. What? What? That's right. More flickery. All right. More stickery. Squat. Squat. Out. And raw. Let me hear you. Come on. No. Squat. joint she will be fine she'll be back for the next episode but I'm gonna pick it up on my own while Jesse takes care of herself so that she's back here with you and me for the next episode okay she might come in and yap at me a little bit I'm sure she will <laughs> I'm sure she will okay so we're gonna pick it up from the squat sorry I lied push up to sprawl to jab okay here we go we're gonna come down to the ground we got that nice big push up hop the legs in jab jab Drop it back and down. Hop your legs in. Jab, jab. Okay. Find a tempo that works for you. Remember, for those sprawls, we're trying to hop the feet to the outside of those planted hands. Your hands are fairly below the shoulders. You don't want to load it too much. Nicely done. Okay. We have that low plank to bear crawl. I don't have anyone to fix my ponytail. Right. We're on the ground, hands below the shoulders. We're gonna start in that bear crawl position. You wanna make sure your weight's directly over your shoulders. Walk it out, walk it in. Walk it out, walk it in. You can find whatever tempo you like here. If you want more of a challenge, there's always an opportunity to take that core band around the knees so you have something to push against. We've got 18 more seconds. In and out. Let's go. 10 seconds. Breathe. I'm sorry about my panting. Three, two, and one. Woo. Oh, that was a quad burner. I feel like there's hair all over my face. Last exercise before our very last cycle. Explosive push-up to sprawl to squat jump. Two and one. So we're starting in that yogi position where we're sending all the weight back. Push forward, hop those legs in, right into the squat jump. Down, back, forward, and up. That's it. Once you find the rhythm with these, it's smooth sailing. You don't even have to think about it. Back, forward, and jump. 10 more seconds. Come on, almost there. Three, two, and one. Woo! Woo! Lap two in the books. Oh, okay. One more time from the top. Grab for those dumbbells. We have that overhead shuffle. Here we go. Shuffling your feet. Couple quick checks here. Look up, make sure that dumbbell's directly over your head. Make sure you're not flaring through the rib cage. Tap, tap, tap. There we go. Tap it out. Tap, tap, tap. Have a little fun with it. Around the world. Last three, two, one. Okay. Shifter. I've given you all of your options with the bar, without the bar, on your knees or toes extended. Do you? Let's work. Okay, toes fully extended, lower down, pop your legs in before we rotate. That's it, tap that bum, 
Tap that ass on the ground. Now, depending on your size, this is the perfect width for your hands. You don't have to worry about your shoulders loading too much because when you come down, it's already at the ideal distance. And if you find that it's not wide enough for you or that it's too wide, lose the bar, come onto the ground. Woo! All right, fast feet. I'm gonna sauce it up a little bit here, okay? I'm gonna go fast feet forward, fast feet back, fast feet forward, to the right, to the left, to the left, to the right, and back, forward, back, forward, back, forward, to the right, to the left, to the right, to the left, to the left, to the right, to the right, to the left. Quick, 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 quick. Run as fast as you can. Take it back. Woo! Forward. To the left, to the right, to the right. Come on. Run it out where you are. For three, two, one. Woo! My goodness. Where's my girl? Woo! Jesse, how you doing, baby girl? Woo! Okay. We have got that plyo lunge to wide squat to narrow squat. Remember those lunge principles, okay? Front knee doesn't go past the toes, back knee doesn't hit the ground. Wide, narrow, plyo. Wide, narrow, plyo. That's it. Wide, narrow, plyo. Wide, narrow, plyo. Keep it going. Almost there, last one. Oh, we're getting through this. We can do it. Yes, you can. Okay, squat to Predator Jack in five seconds. Four, three, two, nice big squat, and Last five. I did two predator jacks there. And one. Woo! Definitely a quad burner. We got that push up to sprawl to jab. In four, three, two. Let's go, folks. Jab, jab. Push up, sprawl. That's it. Ten seconds. Come on. We are almost there. Whoa. Last one. Finish it. Punch. Woo, woo. Woo. Oh, my goodness. Okay. We got that low plank to bear crawl. Heart rate comes down in two and one. Consider this your active rest, active recovery. Keep your belly button drawn in, back parallel to the ground. Breathe. Ah! I'm not ashamed to see, to let you see me struggle, because this is real. Eight seconds. Almost there. Ooh. And rest. Okay. Okay. We have got this. One more set before that finisher. Woo! Where we amp up our agility. Three, two, one. Explosive push up, sprawl, squat jump.
Okay, catch your breath. And we're back for that 12 minute finisher where we boost your agility. Don't go anywhere. <laughs> 